Hello everyone, here's Arkady again. Welcome to my technology channel. Today I would like to give you my five reasons why to choose laser gliding as your deposition method for coatings and hard facings. There are existing many methods for deposition of coatings, and one of them is laser gliding. The question is why should we decide for it or against it? And there are my five reasons why the laser gliding is one of the most attractive methods for protecting your surface. First of all, laser gliding does offer you a metallurgical bonding and at the same time you have a low dilution. From the same time, the heat input which you introduce during laser gliding is very low compared to other hard facing methods like PTA or wire arc or metal arc welding. This results in a low heat affected zone and at the same time low distortion of components, higher deposition efficiency leads to more material consumption and less weight, which is from one side environmental, from another side very economical approach. High process control nowadays is very important. How you can ensure that you can transfer your process from one machine to another, how you can be sure that your process is stably running, that you have a possibility to work with complex parts, and at the same time, how nicely you can monitor your process to ensure that you always get the same coating quality and the same properties of material from batch to batch. Last but not least, I believe one of the key factors of this technology is multifunctionality. Metallurgical bonding means that we achieve the bonding by metallurgical means, having no porosity, voids or other contaminants between two materials which we join together or which we in terms of coating put on each other. And a very important aspect if we talk about metallurgical bonding and the coating properties is related to the dilution. There might be three types of dilution available. First of all, let's see together what is dilution. Dilution is nothing else than a mixture between your coating material which you put with means of any coating technology to the surface and the substrate material which you want to protect using the coating method. Higher dilution, more material penetration from a substrate area to your coating takes place and this definitely has an impact on your coating properties. Let's take a look first on a very low dilution. Very low dilution means in my opinion that you not everywhere has a bonding between your coating and the substrate material. You might get some voids, you might get even some areas where there's no bonding and as a result, under any type of mechanical loading, you can get spallation or breaking of your coating material. If you have too high dilution, that means that your material, base material penetration to a coating material is very high. So you dramatically change the properties of your coating, which might have a negative impact on your wear resistance, corrosion resistance, and can cause you some damages of your coating in means of cracking. How you can compensate it? It's simply by the fact that you increase amount of layers to before you get so-called purity of your coating. That means that you don't have any impact of a base material on the properties of your coating. Imagine working with laser cladding, your typical dilution between will be between 2 to 10%, depending how you work, and that means that even with thinner layers, with one layer deposition, you maintain the coating properties as you wish to, and at the same time, you don't have any bonding problems. If we talk about distortion of components, Think about thin wall parts or parts which are very critical in terms of uh, tolerances. Then in any cases, on any needs, you would wish to have no distortion, which by the laws of welding processes is almost impossible. So you will always have certain distortion and you always have to put your process and repair process or any deposition process in terms that you compensate it with according thickness or preheating or having enough of materials for after processing. So if you have low distortion, it helps you to repair thin wall components or produce some protective coating with less post-machining demands and sometimes even avoiding 
heat treatments or preheatings. As a result, again, it might have an economical impact on the total process. If you work with powders, your deposition efficiency is getting very important. What is deposition efficiency? Is simply the amount of powder which you put through your energy process, PTA or laser cladding, which lands in the surface and produces your coating. And the amount of material which does not go into the melting phase and lands as a coating material is a waste. Typically, the deposition efficiency, depending what process you use, starting from thermal spray or PTA hard facing, you are between 40 to 75 percent deposition efficiency. An advantage of laser cladding in that case, with all the nozzles development, and depending how you treat your process, you can achieve deposition efficiencies up to 95 percent. How is it done? It's by the special nozzle designs, which might be multi-injection nozzles or coaxial nozzle supply. Anyways, you have a very dense powder spot, which forms on a certain distance from your working nozzle, and it helps you with the right process parameters to maintain up to 95% of your material within the process. So it means, again, economically, you can have a huge advantage by working with laser cladding to decrease the cost for material consumption, which is even further getting more important if we think about additive processes and 3D repair. With Industry 4.0, there are more and more demand for high process controls. High process control for me is a bunch of many different process steps which you require in production. First of all, with laser cladding, you have an automated process. That means you can work with robotic systems or gantry portal systems, which even have a high precision, which might have an advantage again for your 3D components production. Secondly, it's a possibility using CAD CAM chain of offline programming. That means you can really find out the best way of and the best strategy for repair or protection or even manufacturing of components using laser cladding. Third below would be process monitoring. Nowadays, it's also important how can I ensure that every time I deposit, I get the same quality of my deposit. So for that, there are possibilities that you can also work with process monitoring. As one of the examples can be done by Clamir, which helps you to control the heat input with using infrared cameras. And as a result, you get less melting of edges producing 3D components. You get the same parameters, considering that during the longer processing time, you also might end up in overheating the parts increasing distortion or increasing dilution. So using a process control, you can minimize those factors and end up in the stable steady stage process. Also, some process simulations might help you to avoid facts like distortion, avoid facts like uh, developing new structures, uh, simplifying the laser cladding process, and also building something very new and special and unique. Under process func multifunctionality, I mean the possibility of doing different sorts of laser processing, which might be high-speed laser cladding, high-power cladding, additive manufacturing, treatment of internal diameters, laser hardening, or even joint welding. For all that processes, same laser source can be used. So you just change the working head and can jump on the same machine from doing 3D components just to heat treating the surface in the needs of laser hardening. And this multifunctionality enables you to fulfill more market requirements. And as a result, laser cladding process can have a certain benefits for your production in a job shop. I hope it was interesting for you to know my five facts why laser cladding is the right technology for coatings, hard facings, or even additive manufacturing. I'm very curious to get your feedback, comments, and also learn what type of technology would you prefer for hard facing or additive manufacturing processes. Thank you very much and see you next time.